Hi everyone, I'm Ken from Crypto Trading KS. If you're new, welcome and welcome back KS family. Let's run the numbers. Bitcoin currently up 4.76% to 49,142. Ethereum up 3.26% to 4025. From my 30 plus years in financial markets, I explain the smart money mindset to assist you to be more of a financial blessing to yourself and those you love gaining real wealth in the process. If you would like daily updates on price movements in the crypto market, seven days a week, 365 days a year, please subscribe to YouTube. Just as cryptos pull back, we have life pullbacks. If you're going through a life pullback, please know that our love and healing thoughts are with you. You're not alone and the sun will come out again. And there's always hope. Rule 774, master yourself to master the market. As a community, we focus on maintaining a positive excellence life trend. People talk a lot about money, but they don't talk about real wealth, which is very unfortunate because a life filled with money, but devoid of meaning is just another form of poverty. That's why we focus on real wealth, which includes inner and outer peace strong boundaries, fulfillment and meaning, purpose and fearlessness, kindness, empathy and love, and generosity. Kindness and integrity are the basic foundations of a positive excellence life trend. They make all the difference in a person's life. Sometimes you'll encounter people who are very conflict orientated. In all likelihood, it's not you. It's just that they may be going through some kind of stress or some kind of trauma. It's really nice to reach out and try and understand what is happening and not add fuel to the fire, which often is a really difficult thing to do, but it's really quite important. Everybody has a tough road to lead and a little bit of understanding and kindness can go a really, really long way. All traders and all investors have to fight the dual forces of self-sabotage and self-doubt. They can think that they are not worthy of a beautiful life filled with all the meaning and all the financial resources that they really truly deserve. Money is an inanimate object. It's just a thing. It's a form of energy. For example, I've got a scalpel here. In the hands of a doctor, the scalpel will heal. It will cut things out that the body can't handle. But in the hands of a criminal, that scalpel could kill. The scalpel is just a neutral thing. It's just like money. It's really good to think about money in this way. If you have any aversion to money, if you look at rich people and reject them, you actually reject wealth at the same time. When you understand that good people do good things with money, everything changes. That's why every day I say these words, because they are absolutely critical and important. Because of your uniqueness, you are automatically deserving of kindness, love, meaning and every success in life, both from a meaning perspective and also from a financial perspective. In this world, there will never be anyone like you and there has never been anyone like you. You are automatically worthy. Our community also stands for the intergenerational focus of positive life trends, both financially and in terms of meaning. I love seeing closer families. I love seeing families get together and share and talking about crypto and making money and improving as a person, finding more meaning. That's just so beautiful. I'd like to say hello to all the families watching. You're so special. And I just love how people come together. I just want to give a special call out to Yorick and Alex. Very, very nice little picture here, isn't it? If you would like to share a picture or you would like to do a call out to your family, please email me at kenstandf at gmail.com. I'd love to share with the community. Rule 138, all investors become traders. Every time they buy or sell, investors buy, traders buy, investors sell, traders sell. They do the same operation, but traders must get it right. Investors can hang on through turbulent times, but traders need to be very, very precise. 
A lot of new traders and investors are called into the market when they see such incredible percentage returns. However, those big percentage returns come with a hidden cost, volatility. Typically what happens are that retail investors and traders buy on green days and sell on red days. This is exactly the opposite of the trading mindset, the professional or institutional trading and investing mindset. Professionals buy on red and sell on green. On December the 11th, I put out the Crypto Trading KS Masterclass. I say it's all about enabling you to do what I do here every day so that you can become more of a financial blessing to yourself and those you love. There were some problems with the email that was sent out. I think many emails potentially bounced or went into promotions or junk. If you haven't received that initial 90% discount, please let me know. Just reach out to me at kstandf at gmail.com. And I'd just like to let you know that on the 31st of December, the foundation member discount ends. That is the 90% off discount. You still have time to get that discount by just emailing me at kstandf at gmail.com. Flo put out a really nice comment. If you're thinking about doing the masterclass, <laughs> this is it. Do it. Just do it. I was in over my head getting into crypto this past year. Ken's content has helped me get an even keel, understand how to approach the market like an institutional investor and how to walk the path of a professional trader. When I heard he was producing a masterclass, I was in disbelief. It was really Christmas come early. I can say, so far, the masterclass has not disappointed and will certainly pay dividends long term. Don't miss the discount opportunity. Thank you so much, Flo, for your very kind words. I'm so very happy for the people that have joined the masterclass. They're having a ball. And I'd like to say thank you to Flamingo too. I agree, this class will pay for itself from the knowledge learned and as a result of making smart moves money-wise. That's a really, really important comment. When you see the difference between retail and institutional thinking, it's a vast chasm. I have a lot of lecturing experience because in the past I was a first and second year stats lecturer. I know all about exponential learning techniques and how to layer in knowledge one bit at a time. That's why I have created the first part of the masterclass, the foundations. And then eight days later, the trend opens up. 15 days after that, after foundations, timing opens up. 22 days after that, real wealth opens up. And 28 days later, 28 days later, oh, what a film. Trigger opens up. Trigger is all about how to buy and sell effectively. You literally need all of this to do trigger properly. The Crypto Trading KS Masterclass is literally the Rolls Royce of trading in crypto. And of course, it covers what investors need to know, how to time their entries and their exits. My focus is to make things very, very simple for you. Mad Vlad actually did a very nice comment. Hi Ken, really enjoying the Masterclass. You're a great teacher. I've been looking at charts for years and in a matter of days, I've learned more than in all the time previously. Not only the content, but the way it's presented makes all the difference. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. When it comes to the masterclass, I know how to present knowledge and speed your understanding. Foundation members will be very surprised at the start of next year when I reach out and let you know some very special things. Rule 45, no alt can escape Bitcoin's gravity. In yesterday's episode, we saw the price was down here, just trying to figure out if it would pass this resistance line. I'll just zoom in there for you. It was down here on the red. And when we looked at it, I said, please everybody be very careful if you're going short there is a probability that the market will turn around and that is what happened prices made it into the i'm not sure what i'm doing zone 
So we have to pay a little bit of attention here, but it's looking very, very constructive for upward price momentum. But the key is that we're not out of the woods yet. It could reverse down and test this, for example, support around the 45,967 level. That is quite possible. It could come back and touch this 45,881 support level. Just beware, whenever there is certainty in the market, that's the time where you look around and say, ouch. That's rule 114, markets penalize certainty. As soon as you're absolutely certain, for example, so many people were certain that the markets were about to collapse in a cyclone of negative price action. And what we saw was the exact opposite thing play out. This is why having a professional smart money mindset is incredibly important. Retail investors and traders only have one perspective. They believe it will go down or it will go up or it will go sideways. But professionals are very, very different. They understand it can do anything at any time. They have strategies for the upward price momentum, the downward price and the sideways price. This is really, really important to make in advance probabilistic choices. That simply means you know exactly what you will do if price goes exponential now. You know exactly what you will do if price collapses through the floor now. And you know exactly what you will do. You have an in advance choice made. If price just goes horizontal and gets really boring. We have so many rules as professionals because we have to structure our thinking and very much unlearn what we have learned. Oh, sound like Yoda. Rule 130, make volatility your best friend. The retail mindset looks at price like a roller coaster and you will see many memes of people on a roller coaster going up and down, especially the Mr. Bean memes. What professional traders and professional investors do, they're waiting for the roller coaster of price to go down. And believe me, the most important thing to understand Traders are always taking profit. Traders are always making money. They're always taking profit. The other thing that's really, really good with trading, it gets you mentally prepared for these very big pull downs and it rewires your mind. That is critically important. A little over two weeks ago, Ethereum was around 3,500. That's when professionals leaned in and went hard and bought and it just bounced and then you can take profit. If you go back about 17 days and look at all of these prices, they were absolutely blood red. That is exactly the time the professionals lean in. They're always buying the blood in the street. That doesn't make professional traders and investors immune from loss. Professionals buy the blood in the street, including their own. There are always many news stories that say Bitcoin and crypto will come down or the stock market will come down. But you can see how price reality plays out can be very, very different from the institutionally weave news headlines. Yesterday, there was literally blood in the streets. People were saying this thing is going to tank. It's going to fall off a cliff. And we saw that wasn't the case. That is why having a professional smart money mindset is just a incredibly important thing to do. You can actually learn to see the red as your friend, not as your enemy. Professional traders and investors embrace uncertainty. Rule 112, markets profit in uncertainty. This is where you want to lean in. However, the retail mindset is this is literally people run for the exits when things get uncertain. I developed chaos zone analysis, the four stages that all investors and traders progress through to become consistently profitable and attain real wealth. The panic zone, zone one, and the blame zone, zone two, have as their basis an addiction to certainty. They are subject to what is called the light switch effect, where people go all in or all out and that basically causes terror. 
what we want to do as a community is live in zone three and zone four. Zone three is consistent profitability from probabilistic fearlessness. This is where we abandon the concept of certainty. There is no such thing in financial markets. As soon as there is, you are penalized. So you do not want certainty. You only want probability. I share so many rules with you because they're incredibly important. Changing your mindset, rewiring how you look at things, having patience as well is incredibly important. There is no patience at all in zone one and zone two. Patience in zone three is the understanding that things take time. And sometimes we have to wait a little while for volatility to play out. Zone four is the meaning zone. This is where all the concepts of having a meaningful life, inner and outer peace, authenticity, just being you, that's really, really important. Because you're so unique, you should just be yourself. Sometimes we feel under pressure to be who we are not. That is not a good place to live. That's full of internal conflict. Just be you. That is what the world needs. And of course, provide it that the real you is kind and has a basis of integrity as your foundation. In zones one and two, we see the light switch effect because of the addiction to certainty. However, zone three and zone four are not a light switch, they're a dimmer. People scale in to positions and scale out of positions. Provided that the particular trend is good, negative percentages are just buying opportunities. They're not the end of the world. Professional traders and investors also need to understand and also look at alternate markets such as the stock market to gauge where Bitcoin may be going, to look at correlations between different measures. When we look at the transport indexes, they've staged a bit of a little bounce in the past session, which is really great. When looking at inflation expectations, we can see they're on a downward path. The NASDAQ is slowly turning around. Looking at the major Indian exchange, Wazirax, we can see Bitcoin's price starting to get above a level of resistance, starting to turn around. Looking at the Chinese property market sentiment, we can see that these particular companies have substantial debt, over $1 trillion combined. Let's just zoom in on the recent price action. We can see that we're getting small bounces. This is actually a really good sign. This gives us some indication that there's movement inside the Chinese economy to do something with these companies. Of course, the Chinese government cannot let and cannot afford to have these companies fail. To the Chinese people and many Asian people, property is life or lifeblood. It's something that they just cannot handle losing. After living in Asia for so many years, one of the first questions is, how many houses do you own? That is pretty much the focus of the Asian mind. And it's a really good focus. Actually acquiring assets like that is terrific. When we look at these particular prices plummeting at the moment, what it means is a lot of people are worried about their future because there is an enormous amount of wealth tied to the property market. The CCP, the Chinese Communist Party, will need to come in and step in and save the Chinese market. To not do so would be very unfortunate and could, re could result in an unforeseen incident for the CCP. They're very intelligent. They won't permit that to happen. But you should also remember that the CCP is Chinese focused, not externally focused. External bondholders with US denominated debt will be and are on their own. It's also critically important to understand the interplay between the bond market and the stock market and crypto. Going back to November 2020, globally, stocks were valued at around 95 trillion. The bond market around that time, 128 trillion. I'm just using crypto as 2 trillion to give you an understanding. Many people say that crypto simply can't grow. It can't do a 2x or a 3x or anything like that. It's just reached its peak. 
many others say that crypto is a zero dollar thing and should go to zero. Both are incorrect methods of thinking. Why? Because crypto is not crypto, it's ownership of Web 3.0. What is Web 3.0? It is the ability to live on the internet. It is the reflection of the financial system digitally. It's the biggest change that we've seen since the Industrial Revolution. There will be a day that crypto will replace the stock market. It may be quite a few years away, but it will happen. And don't forget these particular amounts of money are before the massive printing of the money printers going burr all around the world. We always look to the US market because it's, it is the dominant stock market around over $55 of every dollar of stock market money invested goes into the US market. When we look at the VIX, the volatility of the S&P 500, we saw this fear gauge coming down. What does that mean? It means the indexes went up. Also, we notice that oil just hit its technical support and bounced like a Super Bowl. We were talking previously about bond prices. When bond prices go up, there's a migration away from riskier stocks into less risky periodic payments, which are what bonds are all about. We can see the bond prices actually have reduced. And we know that bonds and yields move inversely with each other. We're seeing a jump in the yields. This is really good for crypto. And we can see also that gold is just a little bit beneath this very tight resistance line and potentially a support line if gold can get above it. But what we see as well, gold is a very geopolitically sensitive material. If gold starts to rally, it's on the basis that things are melting down somewhere. Maybe a war is coming. Maybe a pandemic is breaking out again. When we see gold go down like this, that is a really good sign for the health of the overall global economic system. We can see the DXY, the Dixie, the US dollar currency index has hit support and has bounced up. So what we can see is fear is exiting the market. Gold is not reacting. Many things, for example, we've had a technical bounce in Evergrande, the Chinese property market segment. We can also see around the world that the India market is responding favorably. Of course, there's a lot of cases out in Omicron and COVID. There are so many pieces of news flying around. Often it's really difficult to know what to focus on. It's really simple. You focus on trading the chart that you view. You just focus in here. Just look at what is happening. You make your probabilistic choices, the red area, the basic gray area, the I don't know where the price is going area, and the green area. This method of charting price is something I developed to help people understand where price could go and why. It's something that is very, very useful. It takes all the stress out of charting. This is called KS3 color analysis. It basically helps you to understand what is cooking in the market. You can see the price coming up into this gray area. You know it hasn't yet decided, but it's certainly better than going into the red. We need to get above specific lines especially above 49,305. We're just coming in close to that now. And then we need to seek to attack this 55,590 level. One thing that you might like to note is the relative strength inside the market has been increasing. It's looking quite healthy. Now, why do we spend so much time on Bitcoin? Can't we just go into our beloved alts? The critical question is, why do we look at Bitcoin at all? We look at Bitcoin because Bitcoin rules the market. Bitcoin's price movements dictate what the alts will do. When Bitcoin sells down, the alts will sell down. Everything will sell down, but it will sell down much more violently than what Bitcoin does. The same goes when Bitcoin comes up. The alts do really, really well. That's why we have to always track Bitcoin's fingerprint. You can see that in blue underneath all of these charts. 
From what I understand, I was one of the first people to actually talk about Bitcoin's fingerprint and overlay it under the charts in a systematic manner so that you can see how Bitcoin's gravity impacts every single alt. It's really important to know this fundamental concept. If you're looking at a chart without Bitcoin's overlay, that's not good because you don't know the directional bias. Let's have a look at Bitcoin. We can see it consolidating. Ethereum consolidating around its support could come in for a really nice bounce. What do we see with Binance Coin? Binance Coin is doing quite nicely, consolidating. See all this consolidation occurring. What about Sol? Sol is looking really nice, consolidating as well. When things start to pump up, when Bitcoin gets over resistance, there's going to be massive fireworks. We can also see ADA, poor ADA. I said, if this is the weather yesterday, ADA is under the weather. Thank you for the person in the community that said that, pointed that out. I thought it was so funny. What, what we can see with ADA is it's down at a consolidation level. As Bitcoin turns around, what do we expect? We expect ADA to turn around also. We can see XRP is leading the pack here. We can see a very strong movement up. Very nice to watch. DOT is coming out, potentially coming out of this consolidation. Very, very strong crypto. Look at Luna. Luna has gone parabolic. It's a lunatic. It's doing so well. Good on you, Luna. Another key thing to note, you might want to get into Luna and say, oh, it's too expensive. I've missed it. What happens with an institutional or smart money mindset? What you actually do is you focus on the fact that it's increasing in strength. This is a very good thing. And then you layer by down at specific levels. And then you wait for price to come to you. You're always buying at a lower than market price level. Never ever buy at market. That is incredibly expensive. The Chaos family never FOMOs in on anything. If you look, for example, at Luna and you make volatility your best friend, you know that Luna will come back to meet a support line at some stage. When you do, that's when you're adding. And that can happen really quickly as well. Price can go up and then drop significantly. Professionals lean in on these drops. Now, you won't be able to time it if you're waiting there to pull the trigger. You have to have your orders in market at limit market, limit orders, and just waiting for price to come to you. We never FOMO and we have no interest in FUD. Fear, uncertainty and doubt we use to our advantage. Looking throughout the market, we can see Doge is still under resistance. We need Elon to come back. Come on, Elon, come and tweet again. We can see AVAX, that very strong technical bounce. We can see a very strong accumulation of Ethereum at this support line. This is what you can expect if Bitcoin starts to pull Ethereum up. We can see, I'm just using AVAX as a way to explain what's happening with Ethereum. I'll just go back there. This is what I'm referring to. When things actually wobble around their support lines, they can get really explosive. Please note this behavior. It can really make you a lot of money. We can see that playing here in on AVAX at the moment. SHIB is looking to be very nicely consolidating in here. Let's keep our eye on SHIB. Could do some interesting things. Matic is doing really well. Don't forget, make volatility your best friend. These spikes, these long tail spikes are always coming down to touch a level of support. We always want to be there when it does. Litecoin, still under resistance, but accumulating strength. We can see that starting to turn around there. We can see Uni is very much under resistance. Algo is under resistance too, as is Chainlink. Looking at Bitcoin Cash coming into a consolidation level, we can see Tron still under resistance. Mana starting to consolidate around there. We could expect a passing of resistance there. It's actually already past resistance. Axie Infinity, potential for a technical bounce from support. Stellar, 
under resistance but consolidating we'll probably see a push up if all things go well with bitcoin to this particular resistance line that could be around 32 cents vet still under resistance but we can see many cryptos in the market could do these technical bounces and test their resistance levels we can see adam still under resistance but getting close to turning around ftt is also just over very tight resistance and starting to turn around here too we can see egld just under resistance but this looks to have a lot of power it's got some positive price momentum icp still significantly under resistance and has been for quite a long time we can see the same thing with filecoin under a lot of resistance sand looking really good consolidating around that particular level around the five dollars 17 mark we could see some interesting things out of sand hbar look at that power we noticed that xrp and hbar have done really really well recently theta token still under resistance multiple levels but consolidating around a previous level of support ethereum classic still under resistance a lot of resistance what does this actually mean when i say it's under a lot of resistance that just means there's sellers in the market trying to push ethereum classics price down for it to rally for it to get back from for example 35 dollars to 70 it has to battle a mountain of sellers that's not easy to do you're actually much better off going with these positive prices where the market's attention is but of course it's absolutely up to you do whatever you feel comfortable with but personally i would not be putting anything into ethereum classic i would put something into anything that had a positive momentum behind it let's have a look at near of course what i do and what you do can be very different experts do not know your needs you should always be guided by your own judgment near we can see consolidating some degree of power in there as well but one thing that institutions really love to do when they're going to rally a price often they'll drop it just before to break people's confidence please keep that in mind i call that a technical violation traders are always taking profit this rule is really important to understand traders and investors do the same thing an investor buys a trader buys an investor sells a trader sells they're basically the same activity however the difference is a focus difference but tax is always payable when an investor sells they have to pay tax when a trader sells they have to pay tax this is just the reality of our financial situation the financial situation across the planet paying tax actually means that you are being successful that is actually a good thing rewiring your mind when it comes to taxation is really really important in the masterclass i talk a lot about mindset mindset is the thing that will limit your returns sometimes people reach out and say for example how much percentage return can i get on some new knowledge well that really depends on how the person rewires their mind rewiring the mind is the single most important thing to do that's why real wealth comes before trigger in the masterclass let's look a little bit more into the metaverse because it's such a fascinating concept living online wow we can see decentraland we can see it's already getting above this resistance level these cryptos are powerful we always want to back power really really important we could expect for example mana if bitcoin's price keeps on doing what it's doing and turns around mana and engine and sand could do especially well of course ilv and axie infinity when we see something like slp this to me is a warning sign it's a warning sign to stay away from it it doesn't mean you can't make money out of it absolutely you can but the selling pressure is very high on this particular crypto especially in relationship to other cryptos that are going up for example 
SLP coming down, other cryptos going up. And when they go up, they go up by a lot. When SLP comes back, maybe it will retrace up a, a specific percentage, but it's very much underwater. Something that you would not want to touch unless you've got a really good reason. As a trader, as an investor, it could be a completely different ball game. So we've been through Decentraland and Axie Infinity previously, and also SAN, but you can see SAN, wow, look at that. Looking very powerful. Engine is also looking really interesting. Remember, always buy at levels down. Make volatility your friend. Expect the long tail rejections because that is what crypto does. Crypto is incredibly volatile and it doesn't do steady movements. It does explosive movements and implosive movements. It's not like the stock market. It's not like Forex. It moves around in a crazy manner. SLP, we can see under resistance. SAN looking nice. ILV looking really nice too. We've got a lot of support through this level and we can see with our eye, it's starting to pass across resistance. That's terrific. Well done. Alice still under resistance. CHR starting to break out from this resistance and getting in an uptrend. Oh, very nice. We'll keep our eye on CHR. It's always important to keep rule 444 in mind. Ignore tips, advice, and marketing, especially when it comes through social media. Just make up your own mind about what is best for you. Always do that. It's critically important in crypto. It's critically important anywhere, but especially in crypto. We can see Veracity, VRA, starting to turn around, starting to get above resistance. We can also see that in Icon starting to turn around. This is Bitcoin's gravity. This is why it's critical to look at Bitcoin. We do spend a lot of time on Bitcoin because you need to understand what is being talked about in the news. When people talk about tapering or inflation or exchange rates or whatever it is, the DXY, gold, bonds, yields, you know it all. You've got a really solid foundation. Remember, the news is designed to mislead. Let's have a look at DGB. DGB, we can see coming up to a level of consolidation. As Bitcoin's price starts to turn around, we would expect, of course, positive price momentum with DGB. Let's have a look at IOTA. Look at that beautiful strength just cutting through that resistance line like it wasn't even there. There is strength underneath IOTA's price. Having a look at stacks. Coming back to this resist, oh, sorry, this support line. This is fantastic. It's overcoming multiple levels of resistance. This could be explosive. Keep your eye on it, but it could be really interesting. And never FOMO, never, ever, ever FOMO in. RLC, we can see RLC deeply under resistance here and sold off. We'll keep our eye on that one. See how that plays out. TRB is under resistance. Cartesi is starting to turn around. Cartesi can be really, really spiky. That is, you can expect explosive and implosive movements on Cartesi all the time. This can be very, very good for spike trading, but it does require patience. One advanced thing that institutional players love to do when they've made up their mind that they're going to rally the price, they often do a breakdown, a technical violation before they rally it up. That's basically to call the shorts in and to liquidate them as a result. When you're going short, please be careful in this market. It looks like things are starting to turn around. Be very, very careful. I would suggest that nobody touch any derivatives, anything that you have to borrow for or any way to magnify your money. All you need to do is gain the skills and then you can just scale through your positive progression. There's no reason to be in a hurry. It's not like that. You need the knowledge first. You're in a market up against very, very seasoned players and institutions with deep pockets. You need to know what you're doing. This is a painting from my great, great, great grandfather, Clarkson Stanfield. He painted this in 1830, a very beautiful painting, very talented man. 
What we can see here is this is almost like what crypto feels like on a day-to-day -day basis. You're in your little boat and you're being tossed around violently by the crypto waves. It's really good to understand when you build a stronger boat, when you build your mindset to be bulletproof, you can see that these waves you can actually take advantage of and you can do really, really well in crypto. And as like all things, the waves come and go. This painting is also really good to understand the concept that price moves in waves. And this is kind of the waves that price moves in, in the crypto market. When you go to the stock market, price moves in waves there too, but it's more like a really still pond that can get a rock thrown in it every now and then. This is crypto, and it's really good to get this picture in your mind. When you can take advantage of the waves, that is when you become more of a financial blessing to yourself and those you love. Price moves in waves and life moves in waves too. This is why rule 774 is so critical. Master yourself to master the market. But if you master yourself, you actually master your own life as well. What a beautiful thing to do. Our special word for today that you might like to discuss in the comments section is self-mastery, mastering yourself. Wow, what a great topic. I hope you found the content useful. Please consider sharing and liking this video if you think it will help others. Thank you very much to our moderators for keeping our community safe from scammers. Please say hi and let me know where you're viewing from and if you have any questions. If you would like daily updates on price movements in the crypto market, seven days a week, 365 days a year, please subscribe to YouTube. I've left helpful links in the description of this video. Please remember, crypto is volatile. Always prepare yourself for the best and worst case scenarios. Reality will likely be between them. Stay safe out there, my friends. Take care and see you next time. Bye for now.